so can we say they can be can we combine fruits with alcohol or citrus something citrus given the alkaline nature of the alcohol can we combine something citrus with alcohol so that it might the effect i am not too sure but i'll tell you you bring me to a very interesting point uh, i wish you had asked me so you know there are many ways in which people drink so they can drink beer just by themselves they can drink whiskey with soda they can drink what is known as cocktails and most cocktails are usually hard drinks that is vodka or you know rum or gin which are flavored by mixing with other things like say juices or other uh, you know ingredients like say for example mint and so on so the whole idea is to make it more flavored and more enjoyable in terms of the taste factor because alcohol per se is not a tasty drink so if you give a drink of whiskey to a child for the first time who wants to try it he is definitely not going to like the taste of whiskey so what we do is we garnish it in a way that it makes it pleasurable that's why many ladies who are not used to drinking often prefer a cocktail okay so cocktail could be you know like say with um, orange juice or uh, whatever you know and you mix vodka with it and so on and so forth in terms of your ability to consume it it is okay in the sense that the harshness of the drink per se doesn't hurt your tongue but recent studies have shown that the toxicity to the liver actually goes up because most of these sugary drinks has they have fructose as a sugar and they have alcohol and when the two of them are combined together the chances of fat deposition in the liver actually go up but for an occasional drink up possibly it doesn't matter so we know that uh, cocktails they do enhance the taste but you also mentioned that they increase the fructose amount because of which we are damaging our liver more but if done very rarely then uh, it is not a problem as such but talking about it talking about mixing drinks what would you recommend mixing a drink with a soda water or just having it on the rocks for keeping health into perspective uh, you know this this is a very uh, difficult question because it's linked with uh, cultures so many of these people you know who try to give a sign of marshoness they would project this idea of uh, having a drink on the rocks and when they say rocks i presume they mean ice cubes you know putting the thing there and it's pretty stiff now most connoisseurs of even whiskey would tell you that it's usually better to dilute a drink with something else be it soda or water and make it about one third dilution it makes it softer for the stomach and it makes it softer for the rest of the organs as well but you know a lot of people are so habituated to say having it that way because that's there's a lot of peer pressure involved lot of habits involved lot of the way that you have done it in the past that is involved so it's very difficult to tweak it from the medical part of it to the cultural part of it but if you ask my opinion if at all you must have a drink it's preferable to have it diluted